Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're talking even more WWE 2K18 news following yesterday's cover reveal and the accompanying trailer, which if you haven't seen it already, check out the breakdown video that I did last night as that includes a Kurt Angle easter egg which appears to reveal him and around 25 other legends for the game. Today though, we're talking about the various versions of WWE 2K18, which this first piece of news is going to be met by mixed reactions because I can see a lot of people being happy and a lot of people being disappointed, and that's because the WWE Games Twitter account has confirmed that there will be no PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 version of the game released this year, meaning WWE 2K18 will be the first game to fully concentrate on current gen, making 2K17 the only option for last gen gamers. So like I say, I expect that news to get a mix of reactions depending on if you're a last gen player or current gen, because if you're on last gen then it sucks that there's not going to be an updated game this year, but at the same time for current gen gamers, it does mean that you can expect a game that's had all the attention placed on it and not had limited resources to work on 360 or PS3 versions. So for that reason, this year I should say much more of an update as 2K have their whole team available to work on the game, and because of that, it looks as though it may pay off, because reading the description for the game on the 2K website, it reads, The biggest video game franchise in WWE history is back with WWE 2K18. Featuring cover superstar Seth Rollins, WWE 2K18 promises to bring you closer to the ring than ever before, with hard-hitting action, stunning graphics, drama, excitement, new game modes, additional match types, deep creation capabilities and everything you've come to love from WWE 2K. Be like no one. Now reading that, that sounds really promising as not only do we have the mention of new game modes but we'll also have the mention of new match types, something that we've all been requesting since the jump to current gen when a lot of different match types such as special guest referee were left out, meaning that this could be the year that we'll finally see them added back to the series. As for game modes, this too sounds promising as this could be in relation to some kind of story mode after the 2K showcase was dropped from 2K17, which actually seen a lot of fans complain, while others weren't too fussed as the 2K showcase and reliving events, especially ones that were still fresh in the memory, it didn't really appeal to everyone, including myself, as I preferred the likes of Road to WrestleMania and the unique stories that came with that, as that was all new, so you didn't really know what was going to happen, which I think is the downfall of 2K showcase. As for the creation suite, we'll also see in the description mention deep creation capabilities, but unlike game modes or match types, it doesn't specifically know any new creation modes, but that's not to say that there won't be any, as I've got a feeling that we may see create a story return after 2K added create a video last year, which included a lot of the game's cutscenes, as maybe that was done to see how popular it was and maybe hint at an expansion at this in the future. Let's move on then, let's talk the differences to the actual versions of 2K18 that are available, as we know that there's three versions of the game available for PS4 and Xbox One, we'll have the standard edition which includes a yet to be announced pre-order bonus for anyone pre-ordering the game, we'll have the deluxe edition which is available both physically and digitally and includes the pre-order bonus, the season pass, bonus digital content which again hasn't yet been announced but looks to be something along the lines of exclusive characters like we seen last year with the NXT edition, then for the first time ever in the series, also included is Early Access, which allows you to play the game 4 days early, meaning instead of Tuesday October 17th, then you can actually play the game on Friday October the 13th. Finally, we we'll also have a Physical Collector's Edition, which includes the pre-order bonus, the Season Pass, bonus digital content, Early Access, and the addition of exclusive Physical Collectibles, similar to the NXT edition last year, which featured a piece of the ring mat, signed art card, tops card, and a really cool exclusive Finn Balor figure. So there you go, that's all the different versions available, but as for pricing, GameStop are listed in the standard version as $59.99 with both physical and digital deluxe editions for $89.99, while in the UK, game lists the standard edition for £49.99, but there's no listings for the deluxe edition. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of today's video, but let me know your thoughts in the comments, specifically on the news that there won't be a last gen release this year, does that bother you, or are you glad that 2K is putting all the resources into current gen? Let me know your thoughts on that, and which match types you think the description refers to, which would you like to see added to the game. As always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever a new video drops, but until then, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.